Good morning, friends in room 104. Thank you so much for coming to visit. So this morning, we are going to sing a new good morning song, but I need some help from someone. Let me see if I can get her. Whoa! Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is Izzy. Hi guys, it's me, Izzy Blue. And she has a good morning song that she's going to teach you and me. So first, she's gonna teach us, and then we're all gonna try to sing it together. All right, so let's try to practice first. First thing we're gonna do is wiggle out our fingers because this is some sign language, so we're gonna practice that. So, and sign language is really great because that's for people who like to communicate and talk with their hands. Yeah, so we're gonna first start off, like you said, just practicing it. Okay. So this is, hello, everybody, happy to see you. Hello, everybody. Happy to see you. And now we're going to change it up. It's hello, everybody. Are you ready? So you put your fingers like this and then go like this. Are you ready for fun or for some fun? Just go from your nose to your hand. So now you can practice that if you want to, but we're going to go sing it now together. All right. So ready? Get some loud. Hello, everybody. Happy to see you. Hello, everybody. Happy to see you. Hello, everybody. Are you ready for some fun? So awesome. as you can see, we still need some work on it too, but that's okay. That's okay. So we are going to start off, friends, with our morning message, but before I get into that, I wanted to say thank you so much for my friends who showed up at our small group Zoom yesterday. I had so much fun hanging out with you. That was Eric and Emilio. Thank you so much. And also a huge thank you to my friends who went on Seesaw yesterday. I saw all your fantastic work and it made me feel so, so, so happy. I was so happy to see it. There's going to be a new fun Seesaw activity on there today. So I hope you check it out. And if you didn't get to complete yesterday, you can log in today and try to complete it. It's pretty short and really fun. All right, so our morning message. Here we go. It says, good morning, room 104. That's you. I am so happy you came to visit. Oh, I remember happy is happy. Yeah. Today is Thursday, May 28, 2020. I want to know, do you like to rhyme? I do. Hmm. What is rhyming? Hmm. hmm. Rhyming is when two words sound, sound the, same. the same. Yeah. Like cat and bat. They have the same ending. At. A-T. All right, Izzy, I'm going to say a word, and I want to know if you can rhyme with it. Um, hmm. Pig. Hmm. Wig. How about, hmm. Ball. Hmm. Tall. You want to try one of me? Okay. Hmm. Maybe. Fig. Twig. Mm. <laughs> All right, friends, so I want you to try to rhyme at home today. All right, I want you to try to rhyme with your families at home or your friends. And I would love it if you could send me a video or something of you rhyming. Or you could let me know what words you think rhyme. I would love to hear it. Especially ones that are different from ours. Yeah, definitely. Let's have a fun day. Love. Miss Erin, Miss Kastana, Miss Melissa, Miss Denise, and Izzy Blue, <laughs> our special guest today. Awesome. So we are going to do our Days of the Week song. And I know that you guys know this song now. So I would love to hear you sing along. Remember, we can snap, clap. I'm not great at it. We can clap. You can stop. Or you can... Use your mouth. All right. Ready? Yes. All right. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's 
Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. What's today? Hmm, I can check my morning message again. It said, sa, 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 sa. Hmm, let me see. Sa, mm, two, wa, wa, sa, sa. Oh, there it is, Thursday. Yeah, because I remember yesterday was that green one. Wa, 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 wa. Wednesday. Wednesday. And today is the, the Thursday. Let's look at this up close. Tiger friends. Thursday. Yeah. Ta, ta, tiger. Wa, ta, ta, Thursday. Here we go. Thursday. And this is that TH that makes the th, th, th sound. Can you try that? Th, th. Awesome. Today is Thursday. And I can tell it has blue around it. Just so I'm going to take my calendar. All right, I'm going to grab a marker. Here's our calendar, right? We filled it in yesterday. Yesterday was woof, woof, Wednesday. The 27th, and today is, well, let's count, right? May, and it's a th th Thursday. Thursday. Let's count, though. Here we go. Nice and loud. Do you want to lead the way, Yuffie? Sure. Okay. Should I say it? And go it? for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Say it with us. Eight. Nine, Nine, ten, ten eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. <gasps> what comes next? Tw tw twenty-eight. Awesome. So let's go ahead and write that in. I'm going to use my black marker. And I'm going to do my two. two. And then I'm going to do my eight. eight. And I know that you guys are pros at eight because that was our number last week. So again, I can see that it's May for the month. Our day of the week is the, the Thursday and it's in blue. And it's the 28th. Hmm. I wonder what tomorrow is going to be. Hmm. Hmm. All right, friends, we are going to go on to our letter of the week now. Our letter of the week is, you guys did amazing with the Seesaw activity yesterday. It's the letter Q, U, Q. U is sometimes with it. You're right. It's best friends with it, but it's just Q. This oh, is our letter, Q. We have an uppercase Q, a big Q, and a lowercase Q. A little cue. And a lot of my friends who did Seesaw made some beautiful cues and they found all the cues and I was so proud and so excited to see your work. I hope any friends who didn't get to can go there and complete that today. So I'm gonna erase my cue on here and I'm going to make another one. I can put a cue you on my hand right there. Very nice. All right, so I've got this pretty much all done. And I'm going to start with my circle. One big circle. And then we said how the Q has its tongue hanging out. There we go. And then we're going to make our lowercase Q. It's a small circle, a little bit smaller. And it comes down. <gasps> what do I have? The number nine. But the little Q has a hook. There we go. A lowercase U. Q. All right, friends. So I want to see you do that. So grab, grab a piece of paper. And let's try to make that. Okay. Let's go grab a piece of paper if you can. If not, you can do it in the air. Right? Magic fingers. But I'm going to give Izzy here a dry erase board to try to make a cue for us. She's going to do that. Should and I'm going to do up? it in the air. Okay? Should I hold it up? Like yeah, that? you got it. So here we go. Paper ready or our fingers ready. I'm going to make that big circle. 
and then I tongue hanging out. Awesome. Ready for our lowercase q. Smaller circle, right? Smaller circle. Boop. Line down. Long line down. Zoop. Ready for that hook? Mm -hmm. Boing. Boing. There we go. Awesome, friends. I can't wait to see your cues. Feel free to show them to me. So next we have our number. And I know that you guys are a pro at this. It's a lot like our lowercase q. It's the number nine. Nine. Yeah, you got it. It's the number nine. So why don't we go ahead and try to make that number nine. Can you grab that board again, Izzy? Yes. I'm going to put our nine up here. Perfect. And we're going to do the number nine. This time, Izzy, will you make the nine in the air? Yes, and you can write it on there. Yes, I can. So I'm going to start by making my circle. And my lowercase circle is up higher, right? Then I want to make my long line. Nine. Nine. Izzy, can you show me nine on your hands? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's five nine. and four make nine on my hands. All right. But you know what? I can also use pictures to show me nine. So I'm going to do circles. One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine circles. Nine. All right, friends, so that is our number of the week. I have a challenge for you. See if you can try to find nine. What color do we want to give them today, hmm. do you think? Blue? Blue? Yellow. Okay, see if, which one you pick? Yellow. Izzy's favorite color is yellow. Yeah, yellow. yellow. Let's see if you can try to find nine yellow things in your house. Okay. It's a little bit tricky because yellow's not a very popular color. Yeah, it's a little tricky. You're right. Try to see if you can find nine yellow things in your house or outside. And if you want to take out a picture and show me, I would be happy to see it. And maybe we could even bring it tomorrow morning for the meeting and I can just show our friends. Yeah, we can see all your Or I can put it on Seesaw for everyone to see. So show me nine yellow things if you can. All right, our shape of the week it has three sides they are not wavy they are strong sides it is a triangle you got it it's a triangle i want to know did you guys find any triangle things at your house yesterday mm. yeah i have trouble finding the triangles i feel like it's not as popular of a shape you really gotta look for it hmm hmm I'm definitely going to try to look for that. So if you didn't find anything yesterday, try to find some today. See if you can find any. Maybe. All right, friends. So we are going to do our poem of the week. Here we go. Poem of the week. So I'm going to say it first. All right, there we go. I'm going to say it first. And then I'm going to say it. You're going to repeat. And then we're going to say it all together, together today. All right. So first, I'm just going to say it. Ready? And it's called Baby Chick by Eileen Fisher. Here we go. I'm going to come a little bit closer so you can see it. Peck, peck, peck on the warm brown egg. Out comes a neck. Out comes a leg. How does a chick who has not been about discover the trick of how to get out? Yeah, awesome. All right, so this time I'm going to read a line, and then you're going to read it after me, right? When I go like this, it's going to be your turn. Or Izzy could do the air. Thank you, Izzy. So here we go. I'm going to read it first, and then you. Baby Chick by Aileen Fisher. Awesome. I'd like to give credit to our 
who our authors are. Aileen Fisher wrote this poem. And the title is important. It tells us what it's about. Baby check. Here we go. Peck, peck, peck. On the warm brown egg. Out comes a neck. Out comes a leg. How does a chick, great job, who has not been about, discover the trick of how to get out? Hmm, good question. How Little chicks. Hmm, good question. This time we're going to read it all together at the same time. All right, get your voices ready. Here we go. Put baby chick up here twice, but it's only once. All right. Baby, baby chick, chick by Aileen, Aileen Fisher. Peck, peck, peck on the warm brown egg. Out comes a neck. Out comes a leg. How does a chick who has not been about discover the trick? Of how, how to, to get, get out. out. Wonderful reading, friends. And you know, what? actually, before I put this away, we were talking about rhymes. Ooh. And I'm wondering if anything in here rhymes. Okay, so I'm gonna read it again. My ending words are what we're looking for. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna read two sentences. You're gonna tell me if they rhyme. Let's see if we can figure out if anything in here rhymes. Peck. An egg. I'm going to look at my ending words here. Peck and egg. Do those rhyme? Hmm. Thumbs up if they do. Thumbs down if they do. Peck. Remember, it should be like cat, bat. Peck. Pig, wig. So let me see. Hmm. Peck, egg. Thumbs down. That does not rhyme. No way. Neck, leg. K. Thumbs down. That doesn't rhyme. <gasps> Ooh, I see but I noticed something. What about peck and neck? Eck, eck. Yeah, those rhyme. How about egg and leg? Egg, egg, leg. Those rhyme. All right, here we go. Let's try this one. Chick, chick, about? Mm. No, thumbs down. Chick. Trick. Out? No. No, thumbs down. Those don't rhyme. Ooh. How about chick, chick. trick? trick. Ick. Yeah. Ick. 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 Those rhyme. Thumbs way up. Yeah. About and out? Yes. Those rhyme. That might be a little bit tricky because about is a long word and out isn't, but they both have out at the end. That's right. So those two rhyme. So there's some rhyming words in our poem. Hmm. We're gonna go over that a little bit more tomorrow. All right. So now it is time for foundation. Yay! I love reviewing letter sounds with you guys. It's so much fun. You guys are so fantastic at this. You totally got this down. Do you want to help today, Izzy? Yes. Do you want to help me do it? All right. What sound? What voice should we do? Do you think? Hmm. I think we could do a, hmm, pin cheeps. All right, I'm gonna say a squeaky voice. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Or a little high voice. Squeaky, squeaky. All right, ready? La, 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 la. Here we go. A, a apple, ah. <laughs> That's funny. Say it with us, friends. This 
squeaky voice is a little hard to do. Each hat, huh? Oh, that sounded high pitch. I H E. G G G G G. I'm having trouble with the squeaky voice, so I'm going to change it a little bit, and let's do a. Monster big boys. Are we ready? Okay. La la la. Here we go. King Kong. Cup. I feel silly. L lamp. Sorry. Let's try this again. Ready? L lamp. Thank you, Esme. M man. And not. Mm. Oh, oh, octopus. octopus. Aw. P, P, P. Say it with us. Get those big voices on. Q, U, Queen. Queen. Qua. That's our sound for the week. Q, U. Qua, qua, qua. R, rat, er. <gasps> Snake. T top T. I feel like when I have this voice, I need to make a face, like a firm face. <laughs> you up. Oh. Oops. V van V. W wind. Whoa. Fox. Almost done. Why? Yellow. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Get the biggest, loudest, strongest voice. Z zebra. Zzz. Awesome, friends. You did fantastic with those. Remember, if you go into the classroom and you click on the foundations chart, you can practice those words with Izzy over here. Okay? You can go in there and practice those with her. At any time, any time at all. All right, so next we're going to do our movement sight words, right? Mm -hmm. Some of these you can see me do and some of them you can't. So remember, I'm going to go over them really quick. The word come has a jumping jack. So when we see the word come, we're going to say it three times. And then do a jumping jack. And three do a times. jumping jack, yeah. Three times. You got it. And then we have the word can. can. And can has him doing some toe touches, right? Reach over and touch your toes. Can, C-A-N, can. You might need to sit down for that one. You just may. Then we have the word A. a. And we're going to grab the back of our legs uh. to each side. That's a good stretch, good morning stretch. Next we have and, and he has a push-up. Whew, those are hard. That's that going to get you ready for the around. morning. And. Next, we have Y O U for you. You. And that's when you're going to lean over and stretch. Lean over and stretch. You got it. All right. So here we go. Izzy, do you want to be my movement person as I read these? Yes. Could you do that? Mm -hmm. Are the ones that you can? Yes. Okay. So let's start off with uh, A. A. There we go. All right. A. Up the it's good. So A. So for this one, you're going to reach and touch the back of it. We're going to do it three times. All right, Izzy, go ahead. A. 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 Awesome. Now you guys go ahead and do that at the same time. Now, here we go. We're going to do the next one. And it's, what word is this? And. You got it. All right, here we go. Three times. Three push-ups. You can't see Izzy, but she's going to try to do it. Go for it, Izzy. Let me and, hear you nice and loud. And. And. Awesome. I do a lot of push-ups for hockey. Now we're going to do k and And. C-A-N spells can. You can do this. I believe in you. Can. 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 Awesome. How do you spell can, Izzy? C-A-N. You got it. All right, our next word is you. You, you got it. Y -O. Awesome. 
And we're gonna do a stretch for this one. Let's do it three times. You, you, and you. Awesome. And our last sight word is the word come. come. Here it is. Come, 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 come. Awesome. And how do you spell the word come, Izzy? C O M E. Awesome. So I'm gonna go by these really fast, and I want you to try to see if you can say them. Ready? I'm gonna say it once, and then you're gonna say it. Come. Come. You. Can. can. And. and. A. a. I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm not gonna say anything. Two, this is two. for you to try. Ready? Come. Awesome. Let's do these one more time. Check to see if you were right. Here we go. Come. You. Can. And. A. Awesome job, guys. All right, last but least, we are going to go over our schedule. Here we go, it's right over here. So we are going to start where you are, the virtual classroom visit. Thank you for coming to say hello. I'm so glad that you're here. Take a look, go check out underneath the radio, do some dancing, get some moving. After this, you should be heading off to math, okay? I'm gonna do some happy numbers and an ABC yeah math or maybe some math at home. I can't yeah. wait to see it. After math, you are going to do some art, art. or building or creating. Please. Let those imaginations fly. Please send me some work that you're doing. I love to see it. It makes me so happy. After art, we have, so for this, Pink Pigs is going to come to the Zoom meeting tomorrow. I know I made a mistake yesterday. Our calendar is updated and correct. So Pink Pigs will come to our Zoom meeting tomorrow from 11 to 11.30. Red Rhino is going to be in a Zoom meeting from 11.30 to 12. All of my other friends who are not in a Zoom meeting or have time before or after your Zoom meeting should be doing reading and responding. Okay, I really want to see that. I want to, we're going to, I think, ask for that on Friday to bring one of those uh, responses so that you can share that. Um, so I want you to do some reading and then pick a favorite character, a favorite part, or something how you want to illustrate about your reading. I want to see. Then take some time. I know you probably did so much working and everything else. You're probably hungry. So have a nice, healthy, delicious lunch. Have some fun recess. It's really hot outside. So make sure you're staying cool. You can see some options on our classroom. That's right, if you click on the window in slide two, if you go in present mode, you will see recess options. Yes. And then after that, please, please, please go to Seesaw because there'll be a new activity for you to complete today. If you didn't complete yesterday, you can complete it today as well. All right, well that is it, friends. And I will see you in whole group Zoom tomorrow. Um, Thank you for coming to visit us today. And just to let you know, snack ideas are coming too on another page. Awesome. Bye, guys. Bye. Hope you have a great day and a fun work day. Bye.